Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to get your Xbox 360 wired controller to work with Final Fantasy XI. Uh, I know some people have it working already, but the triggers don't work, so you have to use bumpers for your macros and that kind of stuff. Um, some people have said that this works with the plug and plays, but I've not tested that. But it does work for the wired controllers itself. So the first thing you're going to want to do is, in the description you'll see a download link that's going to have all the tools we're going to need. Uh, go ahead and download that. Once you have that downloaded, just extract it to your desktop or wherever you can easily find it. And first thing you're going to install is going to be the Visual C++ uh, for whatever uh, operating system you're running. Uh, there's going to be the 64-bit, which will be times 64, or the 32-bit uh, which will be times 86 so whatever one you have go ahead and install that after you have all that installed go ahead and look for the file that's labeled DSEO 13B once you find that right click it and go to run as administrator uh, after that it's gonna give you a couple prompts so just go ahead and click on next and then yes uh, after that it's gonna pull up another box here, just go ahead and click on Enable Test Mode, and then click on Next. After you do that, you're going to get uh, another prompt that's going to come up that's going to need you to restart your computer. So go ahead and after you get that installed, uh, go ahead and click on Exit, and then click Next again. Once you do this, you're going to get an error, so just go ahead and cancel out of that and restart your computer. Once the computer is fully restarted, now you're going to notice on the bottom right hand corner there's going to be a watermark. It's going to say something like test mode enabled or something similar to that. Uh, you don't see it on mine because uh, I have already installed the patch, which I will show you how to do, that will remove that so that will not be on your screen. Look for the uh, file xbcd. Go ahead and right click on that and go to run as administrator. In the next window, just click on next. Next and next again. Uh, here you're going to have a few options. Uh, the only one we are going to want to use is the drivers only. So go to that and next and next again. Uh, after this just pick install and it's going to quickly install it. So once you're done with that just do next and you can do finish. Alright and before we give the computer another restart what we're going to have to do is make sure the installer put everything in the correct spot the two files that don't always get moved is the ones we're going to check uh, so what we're going to need to do is go to the um, your C drive Windows System32 and Drivers uh, here we're going to look for the xbcd.sys if it is in there awesome if not we'll move that in a moment uh, the other folder that we are going to want to check is going to be your C drive Windows and INF uh, go into that folder and we're going to make sure that the uh, file xbcd.inf is in there. Uh, if either of these files weren't in there, go into the uh, your uh, drive again, and then go to Programs, whether it's 86 or regular, wherever it installed. Uh, go to the xbcd folder, and then Drivers. Here you're going to see those two files, and just move them to wherever they do need to go to. So if you were missing the uh, file in the System32 drivers, you're going to move the xbcd.sys, or if you were missing the one in your inf folder, you're going to move the one that was xbcd.inf. After you have that done, go ahead and restart your computer again. Alright, once the computer is back up again, we're going to need to uh, install the updated drivers. So we're going to need to go to uh, Device Manager. Easiest way to get there is click on Start and then go to uh, My Computer. It's usually going to be in the second column on the right. Uh, right click it and go to Manage. Alright, once we're there, uh, you should see Device Manager on the uh, left hand side. Uh, once you're in there, go to what should be a Microsoft Common Controller for Windows Class. Uh, there you should see the Xbox 360 option. Once we get that, go ahead and uh, right click on the uh, 360 and go to update drivers and then browse my computer for driver software. Once inside there, you can do let me pick from a list. 
Now we're going to scroll to the bottom, click the XBCD, click on next. Uh, here we are going to get an error or a warning that's just letting you know that Windows is not the maker of this uh, driver. So just do install this driver anyways. Okay, at this point it's going to take a little while to install. So just go ahead and make sure it's all installed and ready to go. Once that's done, go ahead and click on close, and then you'll now see that the uh, controller name has changed as well as where it's at. After you can verify that, go ahead and close out of that. And we're going to go to uh, start, and you can go to XBCD. Uh, I just opened up the window so you can see a little bit better, but the one you're going to be looking for is going to be the XBCD setup utility. Once you find that, go ahead and right click it and run as administrator. Uh, it's going to open up basically a setup kind of wizard. Uh, you can verify that when you press left trigger, B11 showing, and right trigger, B12 is showing. Then also go to the Windows tab and do the same thing, and you'll see 11 and 12 uh, will both light up. Uh, after you do that, everything should be working as well as you know your controller triggers. You can uh, go into the Final Fantasy setup uh, button configuration and now set the uh, triggers to your macros uh, as well as the bumpers to whatever you would normally have. And last thing we're going to want to do is remove the watermarks from uh, the bottom right of your screen. So to do this you're going to go into the uh, all the tools that you downloaded and you're going to either pick the times 64 or times 86 depending on um, the operating system you have. Uh, 64 would be 64 bit uh, 86 would be 32 bit. Once you have that, go ahead and right click run as administrator. It's going to pull up a DOS type prompt and just press Y and press enter. It's going to do what it needs to do. Uh, once you're done with that, just click on, or I'm sorry, press enter and restart your computer and that should be gone. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, once again, just remember to uh, reconfigure your controller and everything should work. Uh, how you want it to at this point. So if you have any issues with any of it, uh, go ahead and just uh, post a comment. Don't send me a message because I won't check those, uh, but I will check the comments periodically and you know help if I can. Uh, other than that, that's it, and thanks for watching.